Hey there everybody, Atlas here with Hellbent Cosplay, and I'm here at Chibi Chibi Con with Knox. Alright, so um, tell me, did you make any of this or style the wig yourself, or did you buy it? Uh, my friend actually helped me out with the wig, so I did a little bit of the wig myself, but everything else was pretty much bought from thrift stores, except for this was ordered. That's what I do a lot too, thrift stores. Still know anything about wigs. He usually yeah. helps me with that. Wigs, wigs but, are very difficult. So this this wig was definitely not easy to style. I can understand that. I've done one wig and it turned out terrible. It's not the easiest thing to do. I'm much yeah. more at home with armor. Yeah. Um, do you usually make uh, any of your own stuff? Like um, most armor? of the time, yes, I do make most of my stuff. I I've never really commissioned people. I usually don't commission people, but I do make most of my stuff. Or as I said, buy it from thrift stores. Nice. Thrift stores are my number one. I've commissioned a wig. That's about it. Yeah. Alright, so um, how long have you been going to conventions? I've been going to conventions since, I think, 2015, so about three years or so. Cool. What was your first one? Uh, Newcon was my first con. Before they shut down, I loved Newcon. Like, I know that some of the people didn't like some of the staff, but yeah. the attendees were always great. I had so much fun. For me, it was always a mixed bag, so it really depends. New con, yeah. I'm sad that it's gone because it means, you know, one less con for the year, but... Actually, they got bought out, so they were also running Phantom PDX, oh, yeah. and the people who did it are running a two-day event, I think in June, to replace that oh. one, and they're doing a new one for New con. They're called Phantom PDX now, oh. I believe. Yeah, I've not heard of that at all. Yeah, you might want to look it up on Facebook. They are starting a new one. Yeah. Okay. And then, um... What kind of cosplay do you normally draw inspiration from? Anime, video games, uh, obviously I, cartoons? I like mostly recently cartoons. It used to be more like anime and kind of web comics, okay. but I've stopped kind of getting into that, I say. Yeah, okay, cool. I've done a few cartoons. Um, I actually did Rick and Morty. I was yeah. Morty. Um, I do a lot of comics and a lot of anime, but uh, all right, it's cool. Um, do you, uh, do you ever do cosplay outside of cons, like free comic book day or uh, Halloween, anything like that? Yes, I do actually have a cosplay page, so I kind of have to do uh, oh, cool. cosplays outside of conventions to be able to keep up. With That's very cool. So. Yeah, I have a page, but it's mostly at cons, but I've got one every couple of months usually, so yeah. that and work stuff usually keeps me pretty busy. Very right, cool. All right. So... Do you ever pick characters based on um, ways that you might be like them, like um, shared personality traits or habits, anything like that? Uh, I'd say so. There's very few characters that I choose based on how they look, because I'd rather cosplay a character that I relate to at least a little bit than just choose them to cosplay because of how they look. Alright, I like that. I'm the same way. I like to do old school stuff that I used to love, like yeah. Mega Man, things like that. I love that one. Or characters that... Yeah, that I associate with, like uh, I do Jean. Mm. Yeah. I also play that kind of character a lot in games too, so it fits pretty well. I like it. It's very cool. All right. Um, what's your favorite thing about going to conventions? Uh, I would have to say taking pictures and meeting people is definitely my favorite part. Uh, and having pictures taken of me, because I, well, at yeah. least at cons that I've gone to before, I used to not get a lot of pictures, but. These days, I'd say I get more pictures than I used to, so it's nice to have, get I, recognition, I guess. I, I know the feeling of not getting many. My first three cons, the only one I had was Lupin the Third. Oh, yeah. I got less than 20 pictures probably between all three years before I started making my own stuff. Yeah. It's always nice to get a little recognition, though. All right, so um, do you ever go to any of the panels? I very rarely go to panels because not a lot of them cater to things I like. Yeah. What kind of stuff do you normally go to? Um, if there's like the occasional anime that I like and they're doing a panel for it, like Naruto, I might go to that. But okay. I don't think I've been to a panel in years at this point. I haven't in a couple, but that's more because I've been trying to do stuff like this and yeah. trying to get pictures more and vlogs, so it keeps me pretty busy. Yeah. All right. If you had one cosplay, one thing that you've always wanted to do, even if it's near impossible, what would your dream cosplay be? God, that's a really good question. Uh, I think my, one of my dream cosplays would have to be um, 
Probably just Naruto because he's so classic as a character. I don't understand that. Naruto's great. Still popular after all these years. Everybody loves him. Right. He, like, there's a very kind of distinct, there's a lot of different characters I want to cosplay, but I just, they're not coming to my mind, and he's the only one I can really think yeah. of. It's my problem. You always have so many, but all I can ever think of is the classics, going yeah. back to the old ones, yeah. But, I mean, it's something that you've been watching a long time, and something you love, there's nothing wrong going with the classics. Yeah, I mean, I'd either have to choose between Naruto or Edward Scissorhands because he's a pretty complex cosplay with himself. That would be really cool. I've seen a few that are really good. It's always fun to see anything Tim Burton related from the movies, but Edward Scissorhands is one of my favorites. Yeah. It just looks so good for a cosplay. Yeah, he's great. He'd be a great cosplay, I think. All right. Um, Do you ever travel outside of the, uh, well... Outside of the Washington or the, the Auburn area or any of this? Well, yeah. I'm actually from Portland, so I had to travel okay. out of state to come to this con. Wow, me too. I'm from Vancouver. About two-hour drive. Yeah. Okay. So you travel quite a lot then? Not excessively. I'd say I only go to soccer con and small cons kind of like this. Only occasionally, though. Soccer con's really the only one I travel to. This is my first time here, so... Yeah, same. Normally, I stay pretty close to home. New con, Komori con, stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so when you go into the dealer's hall, what, do you go into the dealer's hall? I do, but I do not really often buy things just because I usually don't have money on me. Ah, uh, so the question was, it's the first thing you always do in the dealer's hall, but you don't really buy stuff. Yeah, I mean, I just, I like looking around, and sometimes yeah. something might catch my eye, but I just look yeah. really... It's my problem, I always look for stuff, and I always set even just a little bit, 20 bucks, something aside, I always wind up finding nothing, I second guessing, and then con's over. Yeah, I feel Alright, and then, do you ever attend photo shoots? I actually did just do a photo shoot, so I cool. do try to attend photo shoots. Not cool. super often, but I try. I didn't used to, but he runs a few, so I've been doing a few, so yeah. it's been a lot of fun. It's a good way to meet people. I didn't used to meet that many people at Con before I started doing them. It's yeah. a lot of fun. All right, um, check. I think that might be our last, yeah, that's our last question for the interview. All right, well, yeah. thank you very much. Of course. All right, well, this has been Atlas with Hellbent Cosplay.